I was waiting so long. I've got the old macaroni and cheese commercial from years ago, in which a cute little black girl is running around the house, being chased by her mom, who's t trying to get her to have one more bite, and she said, "No." <laughs> my head. <laughs> oh, just hilarious. <clears throat> All right. Calhoun. Coltrane. Whatever your name is. It's time for you. And so, yeah, I don't know. I have ideas. I told you the ideas. And whether I get to the ideas, I don't know. We'll do what we do. But as you can tell, I'm back. I'm healthy. Gotten over the mosquitoes. And uh, it, it, men and boys are similar, but we're different. When we're sick, we're the same. When we're better, we're different. Right, women? So, yeah, all by myself, don't want to be, and so yeah, I, I had uh, Sandra Bullock's While You Were Sleeping scene also flashing back, and I was able to find that on YouTube. I think YouTube pulled down the macaroni and cheese ones, <coughs> but uh, yeah, it's, uh, let's see, what order was it in? Uh, uh, love you, will you marry me? Will you marry me a second? I love you is third. And I can't remember the first one. <laughs> So, before we get to Coltrane, on LDS Church President Dallin H. Oaks explains he has no priesthood keys. <laughs> if you're going to be dumb enough to say it, I'm going to expose it. Because <laughs> Mormons don't go to conference <laughs> and have no clue what the prophets are saying. Because they think that they can be saved in ignorance. If I didn't hear it, I don't have to obey it. <laughs> Just one more commandment. No! <laughs> one more! No! I just... Mormons get raised to believe that scriptures are commandments. That we have to be forced to obey them if we get more commandments and so Mormons don't want new commandments and so thus fulfilled the biblical or the Bible prophecy a quad a quad we have a quad and we need no more quad <laughs> yep. correctly translated from the original <laughs> And so, the WFC-11, with uh, an old car from the 70s, early 70s, I think. We're talking Starsky and Hutch car. <clears throat> and he says, I grew up in this church. What a scam, and unbiblical. Joseph Smith was a pedophile. Really, you knew Joseph, did you? So yeah, he got banned. He believed the lies, left the church, good for you, but because he believed the lies. He's blaming Joseph, not Brigham Young. 
kind of important to leave for the right reasons. Because if you leave for the wrong reasons and then find out Joseph was vindicated, then you go, oh no, I guess Brigham Young's church is true after all if Joseph Smith was innocent. <laughs> Please tell me you're not that stupid. Please. The church plays you for suckers, but <laughs> please tell me it didn't work on you. <laughs> you see, all of this was because 1838, Oliver Cowdery is not happy that he his voice is not being validated. <laughs> he wants to take the church in his direction. And Joseph and Sidney Rigdon are directing the course of the church. And so Oliver is unhapy. And he, he takes his Urim and Thummim and goes home. <laughs> And so as he's going home, he throws out accusations at Joseph because he's emotionally upset. That's what people do, right women? And so, yeah, he, he didn't catch Joseph banging his housemaid, who was 15 years old. No, he just made the accusation. I think it's inappropriate to have a housemaid who's young and single. You know, she never got pregnant. Oh, but she was forced to sign an affidavit by Brigham Young, proving Joseph Smith raped her. <laughs> really? And you didn't get the part about being forced to sign an affidavit? God. These ex-fo never mows. They think they got him. You don't. You found out Brigham Young is the bad guy. Got duped. And so, yes, this church is evil, but this church is not Joseph's church. This church is Brigham Young's church. There's a big difference. And you didn't bother to study. And again, there is a somewhat new now, it's been a while since I've last seen her channel. I've been kind of busy getting attacked by YouTube. But uh, uh, she newly left the church and started doing videos. But she was sort of studying. She wasn't doing the typical Exmo, Nevermo study of listening to Exfo, Nevermo critics. She was finding different voices, one that, that were different. Can't explain it any other way. And so she has done videos where she has linguistically, or found a video where she linguistically learned that Joseph Smith is not the author of section 132. If you're a Mormon, or you've been a Mormon, and you have no clue what the content of section 132 is, oh my hell, why were you Mormon? Why are you Mormon? Dear God. You should know by the section number what the content of the section number is all about. Section 1. Oh my God. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is the great and abominable Church of Babylon. That's section one. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> section 85. <sighs> President Russell Marion Nelson is not authorized to touch the Ark of the Covenant. <laughs> You need to know these things. <laughs> A 
that section 89 or 98 I always get them mixed up because one of them is forgiveness the other one is word of wisdom and we'll carry on since you are not happy with me <laughs> uh, let's see 89 word of wisdom yep 89 what's 89 about <laughs> soft drinks are not good for the belly <laughs> some things you gotta know okay so listen he says he grew up in this church what a scam and un- Biblical. What's the number one plagiarized book in the Book of Mormon? <laughs> Are you sure? I'm doubting you grew up in the church. Dear God. Joseph Smith was a pedophile. No. No. The documents that Brigham Young preserved prove no <laughs> and deceived his wife with fake scripture yeah section 132 is a forged document <laughs> he's claiming that Brigham Young wrote it as a forged document during Joseph's time but Joseph saw it and approved of it and said oh my name's already on it Hey, Emma, you got to obey. Where was that one verse? <laughs> it's in there somewhere. <laughs> it had something to do with ten virgins. <laughs> but that's what the one girl had found out. The whole thing had Bru uh, Brigham Young's Fingerprints all over it. Linguistic fingerprints. I do not speak like any of you. And every single one of you do not speak like any one of you. We all have a unique linguistic pattern. When we speak, when we write. And so only those who are creative writers know how to change the linguistic pattern of the characters that they are writing about. Because if you're watching a TV show or a movie and the actors are all speaking the same linguistic pattern, you're going, oh crap, is this a comedy? I'm sure there was bump stocks in this one. <laughs> is this a chick flick? They're kissing. Ah, and so, yeah, a good writer knows how to have a multi-personality disorder. Which is not really a disorder. It's just psychologists who create it. So they can get paid to have a living. And so, yeah, the whole thing was a fake. Brigham Young released it the year before he died. The year after he was thrown in prison by his most recent divorce. So he's pissed. He wants revenge. And so he put it in there. You will be destroyed! <laughs> you need to know context. Just because somebody says they're the author doesn't mean they're the author. You know, like Cata Mateon, Cata Marcus, Cata Lucas, Cata Ionis. You think they're the author, but they're not. Okay? Don't get caught in the trap. Because section 132, seriously unbiblical? 
Book of Mormon, plagiarizes the Bible the most, and yet, still, six times. How did I come up with the number six? I count. I have to read and count six. Six times. No polygamy. Bad polygamy. I noticed that for about a year now, remember last year when I was doing the videos and the dogs would be yapping in the background, going wild and crazy, and I was talking to you guys to make a computer game, Angry Dogs, to teach kids and adults how to train dogs to be nice, otherwise you'll get bitten to death. <laughs> Nobody did it. But they're gone. I'm at a dog park, and I'm not hearing doggies as much anymore either. I'm hearing kids. Are parents dropping off their kids to the dog park? <laughs> oh. sucks for all of you that can't get a temple recommend then we're not Mormon we're not getting scammed <laughs> why would it suck <laughs> that's actually a good thing <laughs> those who get a temple recommend are scammed and it sucks you have to wear the underwear <laughs> you have to pay up Oh my hell, dude. <laughs> See kids, this is your brain. This is your brain on alcohol or drugs. <laughs> Violating the word of wisdom. Soda pop. <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> Seeing as how now you can't perform works. You can't live with God in the Celestial Kingdom. See, I'm confused. <laughs> I'm confused. He's left the church. He thinks Joseph Smith is a fraud and a pedophile. And therefore, the whole temple thing is a fraud. And yet he says it sucks that you can't get a temple recommend and can't perform the rituals in the temple, and can't live with God in the celestial kingdom. <laughs> Isn't that what he's upset with? <laughs> he had his temple recommend taken away, and now he's going to hell. <laughs> and so he's accusing Joseph of being a pedophile. Man, this is whacked. God said people have zeal but no knowledge. Yet tell me about it. <laughs> Very good on the beam and the moat there. <laughs> this is the Mormon church. <laughs> good people blinded by the devil. <sighs> Memories on the criminal. Da, 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 da. Coltrane on one thing all Mormons do. Yep, cute little honey bunny missionary who's dead now, thanks to Nelson. And he's worried about Joseph Smith being a pedophile when he was accused of it by Brigham Young. Okay. Colton Crane has a whole bunch of stuff and most likely we're going to stick in harmony with the theme of mockery. <laughs> Go to 1913 when Wall Street bankers <laughs> used both political parties and space aliens and pizza parlor basements to drink the blood of babies. 
passed the Federal Reserve Act. Oh my god. The Federal Reserve is a privately owned central bank that pays a 6% dividend to Wall Street and a 90% franchise tax to the Treasury. Is this an advertisement? <laughs> Dear God, what does this have to do with the church? Get to the point. You are not a Rachel Maddow. You do not know how to do this correctly. <laughs> it doesn't matter how people vote if banks can't literally create new money out of can literally create new money out of thin air. They don't do money anymore. It's digital. They just type it in and boom, there it is. With fractional reserve banking, then buy up politicians. <sighs> They lobby, and they also simply pay them six figures. Six figures? Dude, it's nine to ten figures these days. Six figures, oh my hell. <sighs> to speak at conferences? What? We don't have political officers speaking in conference. What the hell? politicians. They lobby, but they also simply pay them six figures to speak at conferences. <laughs> Do you understand this is about the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints? Not being Joseph's church. Not following the Book of Mormon. <sighs> Dear God. The Jews or Israel does the same thing. And I, oh my God. He almost got reported on this one. It's why Israel gets free money. Oh my hell. <sighs> yeah, avoid being an anti-Semite. Uh, how about the Constitution? Isn't being followed. Religion is a drop in the bucket. Look at Congress. They passed an amendment to ban alcohol, but then in the 70s they just made the D with and did whatever the hell they wanted. The Constitution is dead. Oh my hell. No, the prohibition was passed, most likely because of a Christian coalition. <laughs> But a cop in Chicago a day died because alcohol went underground. The speakeasies and the the tub gin and uh, and people were lacing it with all kinds of poison and and so yeah that's why they did the reverse on the amendment. But you can see in the state of Utah that the state of Utah holds a tight rein on the sale of alcohol in the state. We used to have what's called the Zion Curtain. Everybody mocked it. People didn't want to come to visit Utah because of the Zion Curtain. And so when Utah started getting more known worldwide and wanted to court people in Utah, they had to lower the Zion Curtain. So now it's gone, sort of, not really. There'll be bleeps about licensing for stores that, restaurants and other businesses that sell alcohol. No, the Constitution is dead, not because of alcohol being allowed. Dear God, what a dumbass. The Constitution is dead because the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is using religious freedom, which they already have in the First Amendment. 
to deny religious freedom to others and to use their religious freedom to deny rights otherwise protected in the Constitution to others. Oh, I'm sorry, we can't give you food or medical care because you're not our kind. Now, if you want to talk to the missionaries, maybe we can see what we can do temporarily until you become a member and start paying us. This is what was going on with the Colorado and the California Baker cases. This was Prop 8. This was the Disrespect of Marriage Act. And then SCOTUS. Yeah. Women. No rights. Bye-bye. All that suffrage for nothing. Bye-bye. Sperm has more rights than you. I'm so sorry, woman who went through all the trouble to get the DNA on her dress tested to find out it was Tim Ballard's who has fled the country claiming he's you know, undercover trying to rescue sex traffic children. <laughs> you can't send me to prison? I'm undercover! The sperm on her dress has more rights than she does. Sorry. Case dismissed. <laughs> sperm must prevail. <laughs> and women are not seeing the seriousness of this. This was your grandmother's era that were terrified by this. All these younger generation they have no clue of the danger they're in. Only Idaho women apparently and Texas women. Maybe some in Georgia or Louisiana, but <laughs> But it's coming to the rest of the nation. Get your bump stocks now. And so ha ha preaching undermines the Constitution, you say. That's hilarious. And religious freedom. Taking away the religious freedom of others. Dumbass. Dumbass. It's Dumas, Travis. <laughs> Corky Romano. That's it. really was hilarious even though it was over the top acting <sighs> similar to Jim Carrey acting I really don't like that kind of acting but it has a good storyline got your girl scout cookies So I've looked up a lot of religions, and even Asian stuff. Let's say the LDS is wrong. Okay. <laughs> Dear God. And so, yeah, it doesn't matter how many religions you research that are currently existing right now. They're all wrong. I could have told you that. Nobody is going back to the origins with Catherine. Stargate. She rules. And, and yeah, she redid her whole storyline. Because in Stargate SG-1, her boyfriend actually went back or went through the gate, if you remember. <laughs> and so finally, after all those decades, she gets to go with SG-1 
to the location that they saw on the video <coughs> that he went through and never came back from. And so then they went back and, and found him and brought him back. But uh, <coughs> not in the not in the Catherine Origin video or movie. Because in that one, he dies over at the other location, Abydos. He is murdered. He gets Catherine through, and he dies. And her mind was brainwashed by the, the wife who gets punished. And so she has forgotten all about him and, and doesn't remember that he loves her and she did it with him and, and apparently still doesn't get pregnant. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's in Catherine 2. <laughs> like Superman 2. <laughs> they go on a honeymoon undercover and Superman gets her pregnant, gets Lois Lane pregnant, and then nobody likes the Superman Returns, because Superman can't get Lois Lane pregnant? What do you mean he can't? <laughs> oh right, Christian values being imposed on Jewish stories. <sighs> so, anyway. Tons of Mormons leave and then remain a Bible-thumping Christian, which is absurd. Really? You sure you want to go there as a Mormon? <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to think about that first? <laughs> Before I take you to verse 19 of the first vision, What is the name of this church? <laughs> what kind of religion is this church? What did Joseph Smith say about this church and the name of this church in verse 19 of the first vision? Are you sure you want to go there? For instance, they hear about polygamy, etc. and leave Mormonism like the other guy did. <laughs> but then remain a Bible thumper. <laughs> oh, I still have all the internet up. <laughs> thumper, fictional character. A fictional rabbit. <laughs> That's why they call me Thumper. <laughs> Thump. <laughs> Hit something or someone heavily. <laughs> Especially with a fist or a blunt object implement. A heavy, dull blow with a person's fist or a blunt implement. And so, yes, a Bible thumper is one who pounds his Bible, speaking at a pulpit. Which means he's not opening it. He's not actually reading it. <laughs> he doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh, and so, yep, beam and mote. Demon mode in play. Good job. They're so ignorant. They've not understood the tons of prophets in the Bible are polygamous. Name two. Should we do two? Can you come up with two? Yeah, no, can't do Jacob. Other than Jacob. Well, maybe we can give you one for Jacob. Who else? Abraham, okay, the three. <laughs> but 
no, I don't think... So, in the Bible, as translated, not Adam, not Noah, Abraham, sort of, he, he had to divorce the first wife, Sarah said, go. <laughs> so, technically not really. Uh, Isaac? No. That section 132 that throws Isaac into the polygamy. Jacob? Yeah. He was trapped by his father-in-law. He wanted Rachel. He said, no. Leah is the oldest. She needs to be married off first. Uh, but nobody wants her. She's got heavenly eyes, but oh, those thighs. only have me my other brother doesn't want her he married Judy <laughs> the Philistine and so no there's not as much polygamy as you'd like to think One dude marries two sisters and their two servants. That's Jacob. He was forced to. He doesn't do it on his own choice. He wants Rachel. That's the only way he's going to get her. There's a reason for that. It's a prophecy. It's not literal history. And it's not about polygamy. It's two failed marriages. Uh, the God of the Bible killed Judah's sons. Tamar. Did anybody actually read that? I don't know if nobody... Everybody's afraid of my porn stuff. <laughs> oh no! Women! Stay away! I could go blind! <laughs> I put time into that! one especially. There's a whole bunch of stuff on there. Uh. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, the God of the Bible killed Judah's sons for not knocking up their sister-in-law. Yeah. You gotta knock her up. <laughs> The first one just died. He died before he was able to knock her up. He married her. It was all arranged and set in stone. And so, according to the law that the author is talking about, because it's not literal history, the brother needs to step in and take responsibility. Even if the brother is already married. He has to take the brother's widow. That's the law. So it's not really polygamy. It's being a caretaker. <clears throat> and has to provide seed because it's the family. But he didn't like her. And this is where everybody assumes that masturbation is evil. Not just from Sodom and Gomorrah, which is, no. That's more gay sex thing than masturbation. No, this is not masturbation is a sin. This was, he chose not to get her pregnant. Because he didn't want to die. And so he died. <laughs> and so Judah says, no. I'm not having this final son die. And so he made excuses and said, you know, I'll give him to you when he's older. <laughs> he never did. And so she then made Judah responsible. And she 
dressed in a certain way, Judah assumed she was a prostitute. And so Judah offered to pay her. <laughs> and thus got her pregnant. Ta-da! And so then tomorrow's then comes knocking on the door. You got me pregnant. <laughs> Thank you. So that's what that's about. Insurrection, resurrection. Judah is the one who is going to be the descendant or the ancestor of King David. That's why the Jewish author is talking about it. Anyway. Uh, it's like you make fun of Mormonism. Yeah. <laughs> What does that have to do with the Bible stories that you don't really know? But like, why still remain a Bible thumper? I'm a Book of Mormon thumper. You not watch my videos? Do I not? She's holding a Book of Mormon in her hands. One thing all Mormons do that proves LDS Church false, and he's doing it. <laughs> You got Moses's. You got Moses. <coughs> and so he's a Mormon attacking the Bible. Good job. Yeah. Screw Article of Faith number eight. You got Moses. That's a magician turning his stick into a snake. Nope. It's incorrectly translated. He's declaring to Moses he's supposed to be Pharaoh. It's an authority thing, dumbass. There's no magic in it. You're watching the Prince of Egypt or the Ten Commandments. And too many people rely on movies and entertainment and songs and paintings for their knowledge rather than to actually read. Especially even when the translation's wrong from the Biblical Hebrew text. It's so funny because tons of other stories of the God of the Old Testament you're falling for that one? It was some dumbass who said, Oh, the God of the Old Testament is a wrathful God, but Jesus, he's awesome. Love. Really? Is he? He whipped it. Whipped it good. Da -da 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 -da. Hypocrites. Is that love? Yeah. I beat people who I love. <laughs> I'm cruel to be kind. In the right measure. <clears throat> has a short temper and kills people. God never kills people. He, the dumbass from way back when, assumed that God murdered people during the flood. No. No. Where? It doesn't say. You know, that's, that's uh, Bill Cosby. Noah? What? <laughs> but no. Noah is a prophet. He's building a boat. Do you not think the other people are going to notice? And so Joseph Smith, in the Joseph Smith translation, adds what needs to be added. It comes from the Egyptian Ogdod story, and it's a creation story, but it doesn't matter. Amos 3, 7. Surely the Lord God will do nothing, save he will reveal the secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Noah well, is a prophet. You think he's just going to keep it a secret from everybody? Hide the boat? And then when the rain comes, they all die. He just lets them die. doesn't bother to try to save them. Is that what I should do? <coughs> Is 
Is that what I should have done all these years? Because I'm the only one who knew that the solar eclipse on the 21st of August 2017 meant the end of the United States of America. Should I just have kept it a secret from all of you all these years? It became my number one video. Because the church said, oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. We cannot have this guy become popular, YouTube. Shut him down. Shut him down now. <laughs> Should I have kept it a secret? Should I have remained in good favor with the church? Should I have caved to my bishop who said, no. Adam falling is going against the prophets, Travis. Take down that video. Why do you bother to come to church if you're going to go against the prophets? Oh, I'm sorry. Please take me back. I, 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 I'll buy more underwear if I can't pay more tithing. Should I have done that? Knowing the truth in advance. I am the only one who knew. I'm the only one who therefore can warn. And this is how I get treated by Mormons. This is how I get treated by Expo Nevermos. And here we are. The countdown to doomsday. Utter destruction. So says the Book of Mormon. Makes me think of Zeus and a thunderbolt. Really? So you never knew about verse 8, section 85? How does he die? Lightning bolt. Who then is Zeus? Who then is Jupiter? Jupiter is Zeus, Roman is Jupiter, Zeus is Greek, Yah is Hebrew, Amen is Egyptian, Emmanuel, the sun god of noonday. So it's not an actual lightning strike, as much as those are awesome, that's an awesome Judas Priest song, and others do awesome songs about that too. Stupid. You're stupid when you think you're wise. You hearken not to the counsel of Christ. I bet he doesn't even know where that is in the Book of Mormon. See, I have a cheat sheet. All I have to do is type it in. Think wise. And there it is. Second Nephi chapter 9. Oh, the cunning plan of the evil one. Oh, the vainness and the frailties and the foolishness of men. I didn't memorize this. This is scripture mastery. We all should know this. When they are learned, they think they are wise, and they hearken not unto the counsel of God. For they set it aside, supposing they know of themselves. Wherefore, their wisdom is foolishness, and it profiteth them not, and they shall perish. And then the church cuts it off there. They don't want you to read anymore. They want you to believe that if you study the Book of Mormon, you'll become apostate, an anti-Mormon, anti-Christ horror, and you'll perish, and it's foolishness, and it won't profit you anything. <laughs> don't read, Aaron! No! That's it! That's the end of the verse. That's it. Nothing more to read. Move along. <laughs> what does it say, Travis? I'm gonna make you read it. I gave you the link.
okay, he's doing it again. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> say Mormonism is false. Okay. <laughs> Some say the priesthood or authority of God is important. <laughs> really? You know, like section 121, remember? You need to know the subject of the section. Because <laughs> if I say, Amen, <laughs> you need to know. Section 121. The New Testament has a verse where a guy tries to buy the priesthood. We all buy the priesthood. <laughs> it's called tithing. <laughs> You can't buy it as it is not for sale. Sorry, in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints, the priesthood is for sale. We all have to pay to get it. <laughs> We're a lay ministry, but we have to pay for it. know this he has to pay tithing Dear God <sighs> I just I just got better <laughs> here I am making it worse for me <laughs> I'm all on a high <laughs> I'm all frisky so many people think, oh, the Catholic Church must be true. Okay, whatever. But they did math, mass death campaigns against the Gnostics. Oh my God. No, they didn't. <laughs> I just want to scream. Gnosticism is a collection of religious ideas and systems that coalesced in the late 1st century AD. It's technically CE. Shame on you, Wikipedia, whoever did this. And no, not early Christian sects. There's no such thing. Christianity was not created until 325 CE. There was no Christianity prior to 325 CE. Constantine created it. They are not Christians. The Catholic Church was not created yet. The Catholic Church is a branch off. <clears throat> no, no, no. AI, wrong. Catholic World Wiz Mission, wrong. <laughs> uh, here it is. Luther and Melanchthon said that the Roman Catholic Church began around 600 with Pope Gregory the Great. They called him the Pied Piper. So that one I trust more. Legionnaire Ministries. And so yes, it was the Holy Roman Empire, because it was Constantine who created Christianity. And then there were groups of Orthodoxies who began to branch off first. Catholic Church claimed Rome as their headquarters, but they used Catholic with the new definition of catho cathos. Cata. Technically, it's to be translated as the downward motion of the whole. 
but 600, yeah, we'll just change the meaning. <laughs> and so, here we have a more precise date of 590 CE, but still Pope Gregory the first. And so, yeah, there we have it. Pope Gregory the first is the one who split off and created the Roman Catholic Church. That's when they began, right before, just barely, right before, Muhammad branched off with his version of Christianity called Islam. Ta-da! So no, Gnosticism are not Christian. They may believe in a Messiah like the Jews, but that doesn't mean they're Christian Christian of Constantine. Too many Christians make this boo-boo. AI just proved it's a boo-boo. And so, no, it was Rome who was attacking the Gnostics. <sighs> but the Roman Catholic Church, yeah, the the uh, <coughs> lots of atrocities, the Spanish Inquisition. I uh, that was through the Roman Catholic Church, wasn't it? was Spain, but it was the Spanish branch of the Roman Catholic Church, right? In 18, or 1478, Pope Sixtus IV issued a papal bull or decree authorizing the Catholic monarchs to name inquisitors in order to enforce religious uniformity to expel Jews from Spain. And then also went after women, witches. Jews were accused of being witches too. So there you have that. And then the Salem witch trials in America from this papal bull of 1478. And then, of course, the Spanish or the Spaniards with the Aztecs, the conquistadores, and the abominations to the people there. It was a highly developed civilization, massive technologies just utterly destroyed by the Spaniards, conquistadores, just destroyed their culture, just brought them down into bondage, Catholics, and so yeah, Mormons would be Christian, do you? Okay, and so yeah, we gotta end, I guess, so I can change the laundry on them. It's the phase two cleaning day. Every day is cleaning day. Phase three, or you do phase one, but the phase, I don't know, anyway. <clears throat> I spot clean every day to try not to make a mess. Uh, when I do laundry, that's the next phase. It's a deeper clean, clean the sinks, to deeper dusting and then uh, uh, once a month I do the bed quilt and the tablecloth on the recliner and do a more deeper clean as well along with it so yeah, I'm just a mess I'm a dirty boy <laughs> anything to not listen to Travis to his warning words. 
So, I mean, dear God, I, I, you just don't get it, do you? Section 119 is for priestcraft. Who pays for priestcraft? Mormons. Priesthood holders, because they don't want women to work. <laughs> And so Mormon men have to pay to have sex with only Mormon women. And they have to pay to get the priesthood. And we have to pay to get the underwear. On top of getting the underwear, which we have to pay for. <laughs> and so... We have to pay for our missions to convert other people to pay the church for all of that stuff. Oh my god, what a scam. And this guy just, he's going off on tangents, hoping that I'll follow him down the rabbit hole. <laughs> well, if the woman weighs more than a, a duck, and she's a witch, and so yeah, if she floats, she's a duck, <laughs> and so then she has to be burned. <laughs> Didn't you watch King Arthur? <laughs> Holy crap. So Catholics don't like so great, especially don't like so great, or look so great, especially when you're doing it on your phone, aren't you? When you read the Vatican worked with the CIA to help the Nazi, you mean Nazi leaders escape Europe and go to South America. Heck, the CIA even hired some of those Nazis, Nazis. As informants, etc., in South America. Yeah, Mormons. Mormons. CIA. Mormons. Why? Because Mormons go on missions to foreign governments. <laughs> Speaking the languages of the foreign governments. And so they dress in suits. We're somewhat wealthy. We can speak the languages of the world. That's what the CIA is looking for. So yes, the CIA recruited Mormons. And here you are, oblivious to that fact. <coughs> and we now have, thanks to Trump and his leaking mouth, Trump has now come out and confessed in a leak that the CIA, thus AKA Mormons, along with Poppy Bush, are responsible for the assassination of John F. Kennedy. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints assassinated John F. Kennedy. Bombshell. And I say these things 